All right, so we're going to do another Sadhana session. And this time we're going to add the praises of the 21 Taras, which will come up again tomorrow when we do Tara Puja, just to kind of get them into our awareness. We'll do them in English. And uh, there's, excuse me, there's lots of beautiful chanting of it in various ways, in various languages. The Tibetan is really beautiful as well, but I think it's good to do in English for now. So just take a minute and get yourself regrounded. <clears throat> and resettled in your space and ready to meditate even more deeply than before. Connecting as, as best you can with all of the different levels of the teachings, all the different levels of the practice, but doing this in such a way that we don't get overwhelmed either. Remembering that balance of not too tight, not too loose. And so start with not too tight, not too loose body. As Roshi Joan Halifax says, we want a strong, stable back and a soft, receptive front. So see if you can find that balance of stability and openness within your posture itself. and releasing any physical tension. Notice if you've gathered any tightness anywhere in the body and consciously releasing any of that. Feeling your spine come into its best alignment. And you can gradually shift your focus to the breath, letting any surface distractions settle. And as the mind becomes more settled, returning to spaciousness, we encourage our awareness of the stages of the path. We encourage our integration with these ideas and we strengthen our motivation. I take refuge in the Holy Guru, essence of all Buddhas, original grantor of all holy teachings and Lord of all supreme beings. Please, Guru Buddhas, bestow on me the ability to unify my mind with the Dharma and to be successful in practicing Dharma in order to achieve the graduated path. May no hindrances occur while achieving this path. Please bless me to realize that I have received a perfect human rebirth, which is highly meaningful and for many reasons difficult to obtain, but perishable, transient, and fragile. 
decaying in the shortest moment because of its changeable nature. Thus my death is definite, but its actual time is most indefinite. And after death, I am far more likely to be reborn in the lower suffering realms, having created infinitely more negative than positive karma in this life and in all previous lives. Please bless me to comprehend how incredibly unendurable is the suffering of the lower realms, that I might take refuge in the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha with all my heart, and realize the evolution of karma in all its profundity, that I might perform only virtuous actions and abandon all negative creations. Expanding the motivation to the medium capacity. By practicing in this way, I will be reborn in the upper realms, but will still have to experience unlimited samsaric suffering because of uncontrolled delusion and karma. Please bless me to realize fully the evolution of samsara from uncontrolled rebirth to death to rebirth and to follow day and night the three higher meanings of the path, higher conduct, higher concentration, and higher wisdom, which are the main methods to release me from samsara. And expanding the motivation to the great scope the sutra path, but as each sentient being has been my mother, and as most of them are in extreme suffering, please bless me to bring success to all by renouncing the perfect happiness of self and practicing the bodhisattva's deeds of the six perfections with the bodhisattva's mind of exchanging self with others on the basis of the equanimity meditation. Thus, I shall have no sorrow in experiencing the samsaric suffering of all other sentient beings, for no matter how long, having trained my mind in the general path. And expanding from great scope sutra to great scope tantra motivation. Please bless me to follow the quick Vajrayana teachings by feeling sentient beings suffering very unimaginably unbearable for even the shortest moment as my own and to achieve the attainment of Shakyamuni Buddha immediately at this very moment by keeping my ordinations and the instructions of the guru with the best and highest care in life for the sole purpose of enlightening all sentient beings. and visualize. Above the crown of the head, I visualize a lotus and a moon disc. Upon these is the great treasury of compassion, Aryatara, mother of all enlightened beings, who is oneness with my kind root guru. My ru is seated in the full lotus position with a transparent bubble of rainbow colored light, is pink in complexion, and wears saffron robes and a pendant's hat. His right hand is at his heart in the gesture of teaching the Dharma and holds a vajra and the stem of a white lotus that blooms beside his right ear. His left hand rests on his hip. It holds a bell and the stem of another white lotus that blooms beside his left ear. 
And so stabilize awareness of the guru above the crown, facing the same direction as you. Embodying, imbued with, connected to all the teachings of all of the enlightened beings. Try to feel that receptivity and openness of being a true student with a beginner's mind. Having the inner guru awake and listening so that all the outer gurus can connect and engage with our wisdom, elevating it. And my guru's heart is Aryatara in female aspect, green in color and seated in the dancing posture within a rainbow bubble. Her left leg is bent up, her right leg is outstretched. Her left hand is at her heart in the mudra symbolizing the triple gem and holding the stem of a blue Utpali flower. Her right hand extended over her right knee is in the mudra of granting sublime realizations. She is beautifully adorned with jeweled ornaments and scarves, and at her three places bears the syllables om, ah, hum, stabilizing that visualization. All of this at the crown, the main thing feeling strong presence of the enlightened mind, supporting and benefiting you, awakening and helping you develop your own. At her heart is a lotus and moon seat on which stands a radiant green syllable tam. Rays of green light radiate in all directions from the tam and invoke all the enlightened beings of the 10 directions. They are all absorbed into Tara and become one. And so think that the Tara that you visualized above your crown invites all of the enlightened beings from all 10 directions who have all taken the aspect of Tara. And so all of space is filled with millions upon millions of Taras, which all gather and absorb into the Tara that you visualized. And so the Tara above your crown is not just your imagination, but is like a magnet pulling all of the actual enlightened minds here, present, connected.
And with that awareness, we make the heartfelt prayer. Please remain above my head until I receive enlightenment. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my merit from giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha in order to benefit all sentient beings. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my merit from giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha in order to benefit all sentient beings. I go for refuge in time enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my merit from giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha in order to benefit all sentient beings. With my body, speech, and mind, I devoutly prostrate. So generate the mind of prostration. We become receptive to what we respect. One of our biggest obstacles to progress is pride. Therefore, we offer prostration, which is also a form of respect to our own self, our own ability to transform and develop, as well as an offering of respect to those who have already perfected their path. You can think that your body is multiplied countless times and that you all prostrate. That all of your past lives in human form all prostrate. That you together with all sentient beings prostrate on behalf of them all, representing them all. Continuing, I offer all offerings, both real and imagined. And so visualize any offerings you have on your altar, any offerings at any Dharma centers and all Dharma centers, as well as anything beautiful you can bring to your mind's eye. Beautiful water, clean and clear for drinking, for bathing. Every type of flower. Beautiful incense. Light from candles, from chandeliers, from fireworks. perfumes and colognes and lotions that please your mind. Whatever scent offering would be an offering if it was to you. And food, various, fragrant and delicious. Countless banquets spreading out in front of you offered up all of your favorite foods, savory and sweet. And music, beautiful live music all of your favorite playlists, songs you could hear countless times without getting tired of them, any kind of sound that uplifts the mind, imagine and offer up.
and continuing. All sins and offenses amassed from beginning this time, I confess. So imagine that all negative actions of body, of speech, and of mind, anything destructive or harmful that causes pain to oneself and others, just imagine the mind being laid bare, completely open and honest. not feeling humiliated or put down or guilty, just a clean, clear mind of regret that sees faults to be faults, that is brave enough to see one's own mistakes and under the compassionate gaze of Buddha Tara can reveal them. Continuing, I rejoice in all virtuous actions of holy and ordinary beings. So including ourselves, think of what is positive and beneficial, constructive and kind that you and regular people do and have done. and those of holy beings like your teachers, His Holiness the Dalai Lama, historical figures, thinking how wonderful, how rare, how precious for good work to be done, but it is done. How wonderful it is. Continuing, all gurus and Buddhas, please remain until samsara ends and imagine yourself offering a giant lion throne, snow lions at each corner like the base of a stupa, a crossed vajra on every face. Imagine offering this Dharma throne, creating the cause for all of our teachers to show the aspect of long life for us to meet them life after life. They happily sit upon it. Continuing. And turn the wheel of Dharma for sentient beings. So imagine yourself offering a giant Dharma chakra to all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, creating the cause to meet the teachings life after life to understand them and practice them purely all the way until enlightenment. To be able to keep perfect explanations, to set aside faulty explanations. For the pathway between the inner guru and the outer guru to be open, And imagine all the Guru Buddhas happily accept this Dharma Chakra, creating the cause for us to meet the teachings. Continuing. All my virtues and those of all others, I dedicate to the great enlightenment. 
So imagine everything positive that has ever been done coming together. directing it towards this complete enlightenment of all sentient beings, not just ourselves. The great enlightenment where we are all filled with happiness, are all freed from suffering. We offer mandala. This ground anointed with perfume, strewn with flowers, adorned with Mount Meru, four continents, the sun and the moon. I imagine this as a Buddha field and offer it. May all living beings enjoy this pure land. The objects of my attachment, aversion, and ignorance, friends, enemies, and strangers, and my body, wealth, and enjoyments. Without any sense of loss, I offer this collection. Please accept it with pleasure and bless me with freedom from the three poisons. Yadam Guru Radnamandala Kamiyatayami. And we request, please bless me to purify all obscurations, non-virtues of my body, so that it will become one in essence with Guru Tara's holy Vajra body. And Tara happily responds by sending white light, which emanates from the Om at Arya Tara's brow and curves in an arc to enter my brow. Radiant white light filling you up purifying all killing, all stealing, all sexual misconduct, anything damaging done physically. The body becomes purified completely of all obscurations and becomes one in essence with Guru Tara's holy Vajra body. Sit with that visualization, stable and clear. Adding the mantra, Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soha, Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soha, Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soha, under your breath as you visualize. Imagine the physical body being protected and soothed and healed by this purifying white light. Om Tare Tu Tare Tare Soha. And we shift and request, please bless me to purify all obscurations of my speech so that it will become one in essence with Guru Tara's holy Vajra speech. And Tara happily accepts and sends red light emanating from the awe at Arya Tara's throat, curves in an arc to enter my throat my speech is purified completely of all obscurations. All of the seeds of lying, of divisive speech, harsh speech, gossip, anything damaging or harmful done verbally, purifying by this warm red light from her throat to yours. your speech becoming one in essence with Guru Tara's holy Vajra speech. Om 
holding that visualization and ideas. Adding the mantra, Om Tari Tutari Ture Soha, Om Tari Tutari Ture Soha. Protecting your speech from mistakes and slips of tongue, from old habits, from the tendency to exaggerate and embellish, or to be a divisive or critical. Warm red light protecting us from that, as well as supporting us to speak clearly and directly in a beneficial way filled with wisdom and skillful means. To be heard and understood. For important statements to be taken seriously. To be believed. for our voices to be pleasant to hear. And we shift and request, please bless me to purify all obscurations of my mind so that it will become one in essence with Guru Tara's holy Vajra mind and Tara happily responds with blue light, which emanates from the whom at her heart center, curves in an arc to enter our own heart center. Our mind is purified of all obscurations and becomes one in essence with Guru Tara's holy Vajra mind. Clarifying and stabilizing. All negativities of covetousness, lust, attachment, all negativities of ill will, anger, hatred, malice, all negativities of wrong views, afflicted doubt, ignorance, all purifying, all the pain from those, distress, confusion, anxiety, fear, all being purified, soothed, healed. Clear blue light from her heart to yours. Adding the mantra Om Tari Tutari Ture Soa, Om Tari Tutari Ture Soa, Om Tari.
when we shift and request, please bless me to purify all delusions and subtle obscurations to omniscience so that my body, speech, and mind will become with Guru Tara's holy body, speech, and mind. And in response, three colored beams of light emanate simultaneously from the Om, Ah, and Hum syllables, curving in an arc and entering my three places, completely purifying all my delusions, subtle obscurations to omniscience. My body, speech, and mind become one in essence with Guru Tara's holy body, holy speech, and holy mind. Stabilizing that. My root guru dissolves into Aryatara, who melts into green light, which flows into me. Instantly, my wrong conception that I and all other phenomena are self-existent, together with my dualistic mind and its views, disappears, becoming completely empty. Not even a trace of them remains. And I concentrate one pointedly on this empty state with the wisdom that is indistinguishably one from Guru Tara's blissful omniscient mind. Stabilizing that process. All phenomena are empty of inherent existence because they dependently arise. My mind, Tara's mind, all sentient beings' minds lack inherent existence, empty of inherent existence. They arise in dependence upon causes and conditions. Parts, whole, context. Minds imputation on a valid basis. But not even a shred is self-sufficient or substantially existent. Not even the tiniest atom stands alone independently. Then, out of that emptiness, my wisdom manifests instantly as Arya Tara's holy body seated upon a lotus and moon cushion. At my heart is another lotus and moon, upon which in the center stands the syllable Tam, surrounded in a clockwise direction by the syllables of the mantra Om Tare Tutare Ture Soha. The Tam and the mantra are manifestations of Guru's holy mind with which my mind is totally united. For those without the empowerment, shift all of this to the space in front with aspiration rather than divine pride. But for all of us, stabilize the clear appearance.
Green light radiates from all the letters, spreading in every direction. It purifies the negative karmas, gross delusions and subtle obscurations to omniscience of all sentient beings who become Tara. Again, light radiates, bearing manifold offerings to the six transcendental senses of all the Buddhas and sentient beings who have become Tara. The enlightened beings are extremely pleased and shower down the superlative qualities of Buddha Tara's holy body, holy speech and holy mind, omniscient wisdom, supreme power and infinite compassion in the form of a great shower of light rays. As I recite the mantra, I absorb and blessed by this rain. Om Tare tu Tare Ture Soha. So first stabilize the visualization. Light going out purifying, light going out offering, and light coming back blessing. And together with the visualization, add the mantra. Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soha. 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 And then we shift to the Tara praises. And you can start by visualizing the 21 Taras. We're just simply thinking they are here, they are present, each with their individual emphasis, with their individual connection with enlightened qualities, each supporting our practice, each embodying our potential. Om I prostrate to the noble transcendent liberator. Homage Tara swift heroic, eyes like lightning instantaneous, sprung from opening stamens of the Lord of three worlds, cherubim lotus. Homage she whose face combines a 
hundred autumn moons at fullness, blazing with light rays resplendent as a thousand star collection, homage golden blue on lotus, water born in had adorned it, giving ever calm austerities, patience, meditation, her sphere, homage crown of Tatagata's actions triumph without limit, relied on by conquerors' children, having reached every perfection, homage filling with Tutare, whom desire direction and space, trampling with their feet the seven worlds, able to draw forth all beings, homage worshipped by the All-Lord, Chakra Agni Brahma Maru, honored by the hosts of spirits, corpse traces, Kandavas, Yakshas, Homage with her tray and pay sounds, destroying those magic diagrams, her feet pressing left out right in, blazing in a raging fire blaze. Homage to a very dreadful, destroyer of Mara's champions, she with frowning lotus visage, who is slayer of all enemies. Homage at her heart of fingers, adorn her with regal mudra, light rays masses all excited, all directions wheels adorn her. Homage, she so joyous, radiant, crown emitting garlands of light, Murpha laughing with Tutare, subjugating Mara's Davis. Homage, she able to summon all earth guardians' assembly, shaking, frowning with her whom sign, saving from every misfortune. Homage, crown adorned with crescent, moon all ornaments more shining. Amitabha in her hair, not sending how much light eternal. Homage she made breathe a place like eon ending fire abiding. Russia left and joy surrounds you, troops of enemies destroying. Homage she who strikes the ground with her palm and with her foot beats it, browning with the letter whom the seven levels she does conquer. Homage happy, virtuous, peaceful, she endowed with no honor, she endowed with home and soha, destroy her of the great evil, homage she with joy surrounded, tearing those bodies asunder, freeze with whom a knowledge mantra, arrangement of the ten letters, homage to her with seed letter, of the shape of syllable, whom by foot stamping shakes the three worlds, Meryl, Mandara, and Vindhya, homage holding in her hand, the Tamak moon of Deva Lake form, with twice spoken Tara and Pay, total leader spelling poison homage she who gods in their kings and the kinneras do honor armored in a joyful splendor she dispels bad dreams and conflicts homage she who two eyes bright with radiance of sun and full moon with twice hara and tutare she dispels severe contagion homage full of liberating bow by the set of three natures destroy hopes of spirits yaks and raise corpses of supreme to array these praises with the root mantra and prostrations thus are 21. To feel green light radiating from all 21 Taras, blessing your body, speech, and mind, protecting you and supporting all of your positive activities, ripening the seeds of your own Buddha nature. And we dedicate, may I quickly become Guru Arya Tara Padme Droma and lead each and every sentient being into her enlightened state because of these merits. May the supreme jewel bodhicitta that is not arisen arise and grow. And may that which has arisen not diminish, but increase more and more. And remembering the emptiness of the agent, the action, the object, all lack inherent existence, because they dependently arise. Okay. Thanks everyone. So we'll have a half hour break and then we'll do our last session of the day. And uh, it'll be a class once again, explaining different parts of the practice. And um, tomorrow we're gonna go into the 21 Taras in more detail, but if you're really curious, there's a book that's available free from the Happy Monks publication by Geshe Dawa. And it's called Commentary on the Praise to the 21 Taras. 
and that's available free online through Happy Monks publication. So they're a very cool little publication if you haven't found that website before. And um, anyway, it explains each one and why and what they're all about. It's quite a cool little practice um, booklet support. And there's also this one um, available on the Lama Yeshi Wisdom Archive site from Kensa Rinpoche Lama Lundra Brigsil. So this commentary is also free and it is also available um, online. This one's Lama Yeshi Wisdom Archive. You can find it there. So two little um, 21 Taras booklets, if you're curious, but I'll talk about it more tomorrow. Okay, so um, half hour break and then.